The largest veteran service organization in Colorado has been suspended. The Colorado branch of the American Legion has lost its charter amid accusations of financial mismanagement, misappropriation of funds, and questions about accounting practices. CBS News Colorado investigator Brian Moss has more. The Colorado American Legion has dozens of posts around the state aiming to help thousands of veterans every year. But in June, the national organization suspended the Colorado organization's charter for at least a year. And for an organization designed to help veterans, that's already having an effect, according to Army veteran Dan Diefenderfer, who was a special operations paratrooper and parachute rigger. They put a stop on the bank accounts, and now, you know, in that period of the, of the account lockup, there's no veterans that are being able to access that money. Diefenderfer has served as a volunteer supervisor with Colorado's American Legion for the last 15 years. He says June's action is making it harder for Colorado veterans and their families to get help. It really puts a big impact on the type of things that we can get done. The American Legion provides emergency benefits for veterans, career, education, and family support, along with health guidance. A forensic audit of the Colorado American Legion completed in June and covering 2021 and 2022 noted significant discrepancies in financial records over the last two years. The audit said there is an indication of fraudulent activities and that the organization had inadequate internal controls and a lack of oversight. At the same time, the national organization called the Colorado organization dysfunctional and suspended the Colorado Charter for the next year with all department officers relieved of their duties. The Colorado American Legion's website is now blank. So the membership, which is already decreasing, is going to decrease even more. This woman, who did not want to be identified but has a son in the military, says the charter suspension may only last a year, but will impact its ability to help veterans well after that. But there's a lot of funds that were coming from the department itself that will no longer be coming back to the post to share with the veterans. I've been having to do a lot of soul searching of whether or not I even want to continue to, to volunteer with this organization any longer. Last year, Desiree Nochelle pleaded guilty to stealing roughly $150,000 from Colorado's American Legion in 2020. She was the organization's bookkeeper and was sentenced to 60 days in jail and 10 years probation. The national organization that suspended the Colorado chapter has not responded to our specific questions. I'm Brian Moss, covering Colorado First.